Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again, General Technology Knowledge. Today we will continue our lesson about basic PLCGE. It is the part 15. Okay. So before go to part 15, I would like to uh, review the part 14. Yes that we uh, already learned about basic math semantic yes that we uh, forgot to add and sub add I mean that uh, additional and subtract the integer data type yes and we also uh, test and connect it to the HMI also okay so today uh, we will go to part 15 that we will uh, focus to the function bit set word and bit clear word okay so here is the block letter block of uh, bit set word yes normally the bit set word we can uh, set every word that we want yes example uh, I would like to set the bird number uh, one number two or number three or number four on we can do also okay and this is the input that uh, it is the word for the data and this is a bit number yes bit number and this is a bit clear word block yes that have uh, input also yes input the same as the bit set word because if we want to uh, reset yeah or uh, clear this word we can also clear okay and this is a bit number also yes that we want to clear so uh, in this uh, letter we can also convert from the word to the bit yes and send to the output for on some output yes okay and we also uh, connect to the HMI also for test in this section okay so let's go to our uh, software Prophecy Machine Edition and Prophecy Workbank, yes, for uh, HMI. So let's go. Okay, so uh, right now I will choose the existing project that we already learned, yes, before. So today we will focus to the bit set word right so uh, let's go to our block yes and create the new block yes let the block or we can uh, create the new folder example uh, all the bit set word yes and we can move this to this folder yes and uh, don't forget call to the main program yes if we write in the subroutine like this it uh, not work properly yes okay I will rename this block example bit set word okay and I will call this block to the main program yes to the main block and then uh, double click yes so we can comment we are learning about bit set word logic and bit clear word 
Slow change. Okay. So we can uh, comment for uh, remember. Example, we write the more program. We can comment the network, comment the rank. For easy to understand for the user, yes, or uh, other programmer. So we can uh, comment like this. Okay. So let's go to uh, BitSubvert. Yes. So we can type the bit set word like this. Okay. And this one for enable button. Yes. Right now I uh, can write uh, some variables that uh, we want. Yes. Example uh, an all contact bit set word enable okay like this and this is a variable for input that uh, data type is word yes so uh, I can write some variable example uh, bit set word in yes like this and this is a bit yes number so here is the word for data type and array uh, zero it means that uh, one word yes okay and if we want to uh, clear some uh, word some bit from here so we can use the block bit clear CLR word okay okay I will uh, test for you for easy to understand otherwise we uh, don't understand okay so this one example and all contact and then uh, bit clear word example clear word and this is a data type should be the same here yes so uh, control C for copy and then control V for paste and this is a bit number that we want to clear normally the one word it has 16 bits right so if we want to uh, clear something we can write here example I would like to clear bit number 2 yes so when I enable this one it will clear bit number 2 for us okay so uh, let uh, validate okay error 0 and then uh, save our project and download for test okay I will explain more right now we test first and then I will convert from this one to the uh, bit okay so download first and test okay so right now we uh, already download successfully so uh, right click and then uh, choose the display format and then uh, choose the binary for easy to understand okay because one word has 16 bits okay so here is a 16 bit you see okay this one also okay binary yes so uh, we can write some uh, bits that we want to uh, turn on right example uh, 
I want to uh, turn on the bit number one. Yes, yes, bit number one. I will uh, turn on. You see, pre F twelve. You see, bit number one is turned on. Yes, and uh, if I want to clear bit number one, I just put this to one. Okay, so uh, I will put this one to one and clear for you yes okay right now I will press F12 yes you see the bit number one is turned off okay so uh, if we want to uh, enable some bit we can uh, write like this okay I will uh, insert the rank more yes by freeze control and s yeah control r for insert the rank insert the row yes okay so uh, we need to understand about the concept for calculation from birth to uh, binary yes example i use calculator yes if we want to turn on the bit number two, yes, example. So let's go number two for decimal and then click binary. Yes. So this is a number two. So I will turn, I will move the number two to this word. I will get the bit number two is on. Okay example uh, move integer yes and uh, I will turn on bit number uh, one first so one if we calculate like this calculate to convert to binary it will uh, equal one yes so I will move one to this word okay this variable so control C and then control V and this is a uh, move example push button for PB move bit one Okay, I can copy Control C and then Control V. And for number two, if we calculate to a uh, word, right? Decimal, and then uh, choose two. Yeah, like this. Okay, this is bit number two. So uh, I can write move bit number two, and then move two also, right? This is a bit number two. Convert to decimal is two. Yes, and then move to this variable. And one more. If I want to uh, move, turn on the bit number three. I can also yes. So convert bit number three, right? So one zero zero, right? Bit number three one zero zero. So it will equal 4. Okay. So I will move 4 to this word variable. Okay. And this is a change to 3. Yes. And uh, we can also insert one more for row. Okay. I will zoom to smaller. Okay, one more for uh, example bit number four. We can uh, example for uh, four bits. We can uh, understand. Okay, so number four, I will click to binary and then like this. Uh, one, one, zero. Sorry, uh, one, zero, zero, zero. Okay, equal. 4 right bit number 4 so convert to decimal it will uh, age okay so I will move age to this uh, variable okay 
so we can test it okay I will delete this one yes and can command clear clear bit network okay like this so if we want to clear we can uh, write uh, the same as this one so uh, example I would like to clear uh, something for bit right so this one we can adjust the variable yes so example uh, bit number number clear CLI yes bit number for clear it means that uh, if we want to clear uh, bit number 1 number 2 number 3 number 4 until number 16 we can write and uh, like this and let this pull button on it will clear okay so I will convert from this one this is a word data type right we can also convert to the bits okay so convert like this example bit number 0 okay number 1 can convert like this so copy yes and like this dot h 0 0 okay it means that the bit number 0 that we uh, convert from uh, word to bits okay dot h this one and 0 0 okay so we can choose the coin yes for on the output like the turn on the motor also example uh, motor 7 because in the existing video yes in the previous video is uh, motor number 6 so right now motor number 7 and one more we can copy yes like this and paste yes and we will change this one to bit number one it means that uh, bit number two yes and change to motor H and one more control C for copy and then paste control V it means that bit number 3 yes and change to motor 9 and one more for bit number 4 right so we can uh, select and copy yes and paste change to 3 it means that bit number 4 yes because it start from 0 so 0 it means that 1 1 it means that bit number 2 2 it means that bit number 3 and 3 it means that bit number 4 ok so uh, motor 9 then motor 10 ok so uh, let validate our project ok error 0 save our project and then download to the CPU and then we will test step by step yes okay I will adjust to be uh, bigger than this oh we cannot see the coin right so I will minimize this one first yes it will be big okay like this so uh, right now I will enable to let bit number 0 is turned on okay so I will press F12 yeah and you see the output here you see bit number 0 is turned on right now yes you see 
and motor number 7 is turned on you see here it's on yes so if I would like to stop I will disable this one and then clear the bit right so I will write this one to uh, one yes because we, it start from one right so right here normally we can uh, write from the HMI if we uh, separate the HMI yes so I will show in the next step so right now I will choose this one and then clear right so with clear word we can press F12 to clear you see the output is turned off yes okay clear bit number one so if we would like to uh, start bit number two right we can uh, press F12 to let bit number two is on here right and you see the bit number two is turned on yes so it very important that we uh, can convert from word to bit like this yes dot h and then uh, choose the symbol and then uh, can write the bit okay so right now the bit number two is on and motor number eight is turned on also okay so if I would like to uh, clear something I will disable this one first motor still on right and then I will choose this one and write number two right okay and then let this uh, enable this one on to uh, turn off the motor okay so if I would like to uh, start this one yeah I will uh, turn on yes you see the bit number 4 is turned on and motor number 10 is turned on also and uh, if I would like to clear I will uh, choose this one to 4 right and then uh, you see it will uh, turn off okay so we can do like this until uh, bit number 16 right 16 okay I will uh, jump to uh, bit number 16 for easy to understand for 16 right 16 okay we will choose the binary first 16 so 1 0 0 0 until 16 right Okay, like this okay you see here is a 16 bit number 16 and then go to decimal right so it will equal 3 2 7 6 8 okay so in here I will choose uh, okay I will copy and this one number 16 right okay so I will move this number 32768 32768 okay like this 2 bit yes and uh, here we can uh, write like this okay copy ctrl C and then ctrl V I'm also sorry because uh, this video is so long but I would like to explain to be clear the concept yeah especially convert from word to bits okay so this one I will choose uh, 15 right because it start from 0 and this one example motor number 11 yes motor number 11 so uh, we can test again yes error one the constant value of constant do not meet 
Operation Thai Move Integer Okay, right now uh, you see error 1, yes because we uh, cannot move from uh, this number to this uh, variable you see the error case, yes Here, yes. Constant value, yes. Because uh, it allowed to uh, a number only uh, three two seven six seven, yes. And this one three two seven six eight, so it cannot like this, okay. So how to do? So we can uh, move the word if we want to move like this. Because as we uh, convert from the decimal to binary, it will equal the bit number 16, right? Okay, so uh, we can uh, choose like this. Move word. Yes. I will copy this one and then uh, this number. And this one to this and then delete this one yes because if uh, we uh, okay like this all bit is on right so it's not correct so we need to uh, 3 2 7 6 8 yes like this to let bit number 16 is on only yes so uh, we can validate again yes for check okay you see right now the error is not yes it does an error error 0 so we can uh, download and test again okay so right now I will let bit number 16 is on by uh, press this button, yes. You see, it will move this number to this word, yes. And let's check. Right now the bit number uh, 16 is on and let motor 11 is turned on also, okay. And we can also see like this here. Number 16 is on, yes, you see. I will zoom yes number 16 is on okay zoom if we would like to clear we can uh, write and then uh, choose 16 yes and then we will uh, stop the motor yes by enable this one on yes Turn up this one first and then move this one, yes. And let's see the motor number 11 is turned off because the bit number 16 is turned off, okay. So if we would like to uh, link to the HMI, we can do also, yes. I will offline first and then uh, We'll assign the variables, assign the address one by one, right? Example, the bit number one, we can uh, do like this, okay? So this one, I will choose a uh, person um, yes. So person um, this one person um also, yes. And this one, person M also. Person M also, yes. Person M also. And this one for clear, right? For clear, we can choose the person A. We call it uh, analog. Okay. And for motor number. 
J van. We can choose person um. Yes. This one person um also. And we will create the HMI yes screen for test. Assign the person um yes. Case. Let validate and then uh, save our project and download again. Yes. Okay, right now we already download yes, the program to the CPU. And right now we will create the HMI. Yes. So let's go to our project and then go to here the existing project and then uh, go to points and create the point follow the address of yes so we will uh, create the uh, one points for uh, enable the bit number one yes okay so let right click and then choose new and then boolean right because we turn on and turn off so example pb pb bit 1 right and then percent um number 326 okay and we can duplicate number two right and we send um three two seven and one more for bit number three okay Person um three two eight right so three two eight one more number four right three two nine and the last one for push button right bit number 16 right so duplicate 16 and then version um 3 3 sorry 3 3 uh, 0 okay and one more button for clear right this one okay I will uh, create one more for enable to clear the bit so send um and let's save don't forget save and then download again to let our program equal yes see equal and then uh, i will choose one more for push button for reset bit right so uh, reset Okay, reset bit only and then uh, 336 okay that's all for a uh, button for uh, enable the bit and uh, clear the bits so right now we will uh, create more for motor yes so this one motor number 7 we can also duplicate right motor number 7 person um also actually we can choose a uh, person q also to let our uh, digital output of card turn on and turn off right so in this case i uh, only example so i will choose the person um first person um 331 Duplicate for motor number 8 332 right 
and one more for motor number nine Send um three 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 right sorry three 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 and uh, motor motor number nine number ten right so motor number ten percent um three three four right in the last one motor number eleven so three three five okay so uh, one more for uh, person A for set the bit right so this is an analog so I will choose the new points and then choose the analog uh, this is a number CLR bit right number clear bit so analog and divide and then go here and then uh, integer right so person A 31 yes person A 31 this one okay so right now we already uh, create the points for both put button and the variable for clear the bits so uh, let me update and then start our project for create the screen and test again okay okay so let uh, go to screen actually we can uh, duplicate from this screen but uh, I will create a new screen and save the screen example uh, screen number six okay and then uh, go here and then choose the copy from this motor yes we can copy also like this copy and close and go to the new screen and then paste okay just okay first and then uh, I will choose the button for this uh, case because we need to uh, turn on and turn off immediately okay so I will uh, adjust the screen yes to be 90 900 yes like this and then uh, okay like the first and I will delete this one this one this one okay and this is status of motor right so motor number 7 so uh, I will copy to number 7, number 8, number 9, number 10, number 11 is the last one, yes, and this one is sample 800, yes, and they name this motor to H. Ten. The last one, motor eleven. Okay. So uh, I will choose the push button. Yes, for easy to understand. So let go to push button. Yes here and draw yes and uh, we can choose the style yes example I choose the V star okay like this 
and this one for uh, move the value right from bit number 1 to bit number 16 right okay so let's go to text and then this one example bit number 1 I will change color a little bit yes like this and then go to color yes then go to uh, even then mount up yes go to new procedure new and go to uh, absolute set point and browse the point the point yes browse and the point that we uh, create yes here right so uh, if you start from bit number one right until here so BP it start from BP so BP star PB star yes so start from bit number one and I will uh, copy this one and set to the zero right if mouse up okay and one more procedure for a new event for mouse down right so mouse down I will choose the new procedure and then choose the absolute set point again and this is a point pb1 and then set to one okay this this step it means that uh, when we push and release the point is uh, turn on and turn off okay so like this I can uh, copy so uh, press shift and control and drag and drop to be a uh, bit yes like this example uh, go to text and then this one bit number two right and go to the procedure procedure one change this one to two right one more change to bit number two also and this one bit number three right so bit number three and then go to procedure and change this one to three that's why I duplicate the point to be the array yes it uh, easy to change this one yes this one number four right so four and go to procedure and change this one to four one more change to four and this one is a uh, 16 right so uh, this one bit number 16 so this one 16 go to procedure 16 also okay and one more for uh, clear right for reset yes so the reset I will choose this one and then uh, I will choose the one more button yes yeah. copy this one for uh, PB clear right so this one clear bit so clear bit right um, number uh, 336 so what is the variable yes reset bit right this one see yes reset bit so reset bit yes this one and I will copy ctrl C and then go here set bit also yes So clear bit 
okay and this one is a bit number that we want to clear so uh, here go here and then go to uh, this one and browse the point right so let's go to our text and then check what is the name that we uh, already create reset bit integer right so in the bottom yes number clr bit right this one yeah you see the person a 31 so number right star number star yes number clear bit and then yeah, integer and set point also yes so uh, it uh, will show the color of motor also right so we change the color right click and then go to open group color animation and then edit this is motor number 7 right okay number 7 close this group this one is motor number 8 so double click go to color animation number 8 okay close the group right click open group go to motor number 9 right and this one motor number 10 right and this one the last one is motor number 11 status okay let's adjust the screen yes to be a uh, good okay I will change to uh, the 100 okay like this okay and then let's save our screen and go here and then uh, tap the screen okay So right now we will uh, start from uh, motor number 7 right okay like this so if I uh, push this one yes bit number 1 you see the motor number 7 is turned on because the bit number 1 is on okay so if I push this bit number 2 it will change motor number 8 is turned on this one motor number 9 yes you see the bit is changed also motor number 10 yes change to the motor number 10 bit number 4 is turned on and the last one is motor number 11 yes so if we would like to clear we just put the number right so uh, 16 and then clear and we will stop the motor okay and we also can start yes yes that we want we can start and we uh, can clear also for bit number one yes we can clear so this is a concept of uh, bit set word and bit clear word operation okay so thank you very much for watching my video and if everyone have any question please comment under my video I will reply soon okay and I would like to request everyone to uh, like share and subscribe my channel also 
to get more notification and more new videos that I will create step by step okay so in this time I would like to say thank you very much for watching my video again and see you next videos bye bye